Remembering the fallen, today the city of Jacksonville held a peace officers memorial observance, recognizing officers that died in the line of duty. Not in your sights, Claire Curry was there for the ceremony and has more on what this day means to the public service members in that community. Ken, Peace Officers Memorial Day across the country is celebrated this Sunday, May 15th. And today, people in Jacksonville are remembering fellow officers that made the ultimate sacrifice. We're human. We're just like everybody else. We're moms and dads and sisters and brothers. Before serving as the mayor of Jacksonville, Sammy Phillips was the deputy police chief and spent more than 30 years in law enforcement. He says the dates that fellow officers passed are forever embedded in his memory. Terry Lanier, May 11th, 1979. Bill Whitehead, May 31st, 1981. You know, these, these are uh, dates that I'll never forget. Phillips says the sacrifices the officers he knew are remembered not just today, but every day. You, you don't ever want to forget, you know, the people that have gone before you. Ashley Weaver is the current deputy chief for the Jacksonville Police Department. She has a personal connection to an officer recognized on the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial in D.C. I do have a friend whose name is on that wall, um, uh, Chad Reed. He was from Dixie County Sheriff's Office in Florida. Um, and so that, to me, really brings this home. Weaver says the Jacksonville Police Department does everything they can to prevent the loss of more officers by implementing programs like crisis intervention training. Unfortunately, situations are going to present themselves where you don't have a choice but to respond with with deadly force. But our goal is to not have to do that um, because, again, we want to make sure everybody goes home at the end of the night. Weaver also says she thanks all officers for their service. In the Jacksonville studio, Claire Curry, 9 on your side.